you just confessed to a murder and I'm gonna track your IP address. Literally, I was in like chapter 10 and I closed the book and I like to get to know each other only for marriage. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Like how could you conduct buy me snacks and study for Hello. Hello, ladies and ladies. Uh, a sit down video like this is long overdue. Like uni vlog after uni vlog, I needed a break. And what better way to break than by reading your guys' heinous, diabolical, excruciating confessions. Ah, my life is boring, your guys' is not, so uh, I'm exploiting you. Wait, that felt so freaking mean, like I meant that as a joke. But actually that doesn't really feel like a joke. Wait, I feel like a bad person right now. Whoa. Oh my gosh, not me using your guys' stories for content. Like, I feel so horrible right now, oh my god. I contracted a virus that's still on my brother's phone from reading on an illegal web website. I'm too embarrassed to tell my mom to get it fixed. It's been there for a year or something like that. It was worth it at least though. Oh my god, girl. There's nothing quite like just typing in the manga name in Google and clicking the first link that pops up. And then suddenly when Annie is 10 miles away and waiting for you to call her, what then? Girl, what then? Um, don't tell your mom, you know, was it worth it? Uh, probably, probably. Most definitely. I don't really like one of my closest friends. We've been friends for six years now. Girl, why are you friends with someone for six years if you don't even like them? Hello! And we are in a trio with another girl, but we all go to different high schools. A little while back, we got into the stupidest fight that lasted days and went weeks without talking, all because I sent manga leaks. <laughs> I can do not. And it blew out of proportion so badly. But now we're back on good terms, but she's doing things that she used to do in the past that I'm not comfortable with, but I can't cut ties with her because I know she's in a situation where she needs me. And the other girl that we're friends with, I don't know how much longer I can excuse her behavior because I don't believe that being in a certain situation gives you the right to act badly towards the people you know, but oh well, I don't even know. I know. And what I know is your happiness should come above all else, okay? <laughs> Oh, not me turning this to like a whole deep session, but no, actually your happiness matters above all else. If you are having friends that aren't treating you kindly and aren't thinking about you in any situation and it's just very selfish what I do, what I want and, and using and abusing you, I think it's time for you to leave. Now, be kind, Annette. Be kind. Always be kind. You know, leave in a very tasteful, very demure, very cutie way, but leave. If that friendship isn't doing anything for you and it's just dragging you down, girl, you gotta rip rip yourself out or rip wait i just kind of like so basically i'm like insanely obsessed with aaron yeager and i have single-handedly read fanfics of him every consecutive day since 2020 when i find guys attractive or when i talk to them i look for traits in them that remind me of aaron or i save their contact as his name so that i can pretend that aaron's the one that's actually texting me Real that bad, real quick. <laughs> Wait, like, why is she kind of, why is she kind of cooking? Like, we, me when I actually do that with Gojo. Oh, girl. <laughs> Anyways, usually in them fanfics, y your name always gets with Jean first, and then he turns out to be a total loser, so she falls in love with Aaron instead. Like I said, before I look for traits in Aaron in guys whenever I invo involved myself with men, which is rarely, but in my head, I decided whether the guy is more of an Aaron type of person or a Jean type of person and if they give me John energy I immediately don't pursue them all right all right so I started talking to this guy around like two years ago and this is when I was insufferable meaning that I couldn't have a normal conversation without mentioning Aaron I was like the worst person alive spamming pictures of Aaron anytime the guy would try to flirt with me or I'd sometimes degrade him and tell him how pathetic he was for not being Aaron where did we actually literally just go right now <laughs> You are, you're telling me you're sitting here degrading men online and they're like willingly talking to you? What is this masochistic subordinate <laughs> madness madness? Whoa! Guys, like <laughs> like I feel like this is the type of person that you see never mind, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. I'm gonna be like at an anime convention and they probably smell like Doritos. But you know what? Like actually me too, like like she's actually like giving me ideas. Like me when I compare every man ever to Gojo and be like, hey yo, you're not my six eyed glorious <laughs> Uh, anyways, it got so bad to the point where eventually the guy I was talking to adapted an obsession with Aaron to girl whoa. He started calling him fine and then bullying me for not being Aaron, which is like genuinely terrifying. Guys, what is actually literally going on? Who would have guessed that out of all things, the turntables would turn like that? Usually when I do that to other guys, they would simply just call me an anime weirdo and block me. 
Um, <laughs> I don't act like this anymore, so don't think of me poorly, Amina. I I actually I I love you, and you know that is your truth, and I think you must live it and like really, really val. Uh huh. I'm still lost on that you started degrading him, and the men would sit there and take it. <laughs> I love my best friend so much, yet why am I hating her more day by day? I've never felt more inferior and low than when I'm with her. Every single thing she does bugs me. But this never used to be the case, rather it was the opposite. Yet nowadays I feel like her shadow. Girl, this is actually, like, this is actually a deep confession. Like, this would, I would actually take this with me to the grave. <laughs> you're, so you're actually like, honestly, the first step towards getting better is admitting that you are the problem. <laughs> You are the problem. Um, I I think that you're just... I think you need to see why. You're, guys, wow, this went from like reading confessions to just admin giving advice. Whoa, look at the a litter of... See, um, almanapeya? Almanusha... <laughs> Almanusha... What's it called when it's like alliteration? I mean, his advice. Anyways, I think you need to really introspect and see why are you feeling inferior? What is your friend doing that is making you feel... Like, do you think you are uglier than oh whoa that was kind of aggressive but like <laughs> oh whoa maybe i'm not good at this advice thing but like you actually no introspect what is she doing that is make like why are you why are your your friend so basically your friend you're supposed to feel happy for them and, and happy for what they do and their happiness is supposed to be your happiness but her happiness is turning into your anger and your bitterness so you need to introspect obviously there is something wrong with you and your confidence and your self-worthiness to a point that you are viewing her and you are not liking her. Yes! That's what I meant to say! I accidentally killed my neighbor's dog and I haven't told anyone about it because I feel too guilty. I ran it over by driving my dad's car, even though I'm not allowed to since I was too young. You just confessed to a murder and I'm gonna track your IP address and I'm showing that to your neighbor. That's just- <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm not laughing because the dog died. That's actually really freaking sad. But I'm just laughing because like, oh my god, you're so horrible. <laughs> like, you- god, That- Oh my god, that owner's gonna sit there wondering for the rest of their life who killed their poor dog. You're horrible! I've never told anyone this, but I have the biggest crush on my cousin. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But the other day when I was at my grandma's house, I saw him and he was wearing a pressure shirt. Like, those compression shirts. Hey, okay, Toshi! Okay, Toshi! <laughs> Like, I'm not- Guys, I don't know why I keep laughing at myself. Like, this is actually kind of sad. Whoa. Um, I'm not kidding. Uh, and like, he has such a nice body, like, hourglass type. But maybe it's just because I don't have any male friends or associate outside of my family. Eek! I think he's an option. Um, she wants to keep it in the family, you know? Like, who am- <laughs> can't finish romance shows because I get so jealous that my head hurts and dare I say that this is the realest confession ever guys <laughs> one time I was reading this book series called the inheritance games where the girl is like this broke girl like she is so poor doesn't have money out of the blue she randomly inherits like billions upon billions upon billions of dollars like literally like like a, a security guard comes in and is like hey oh miss like you are now the inheritance of like the wealthiest man of America because he died and he just left her the whole fortune and then to make matters worse her the two grandsons of the billionaire who died are like absolute double beat up baddies and they both like fall in love with her L literally I was in like chapter 10 and I closed the book and I said I'm gonna kill myself because I was like this is whoa this is actually taking a lot for me to come back but I was actually gen like I <laughs> like I don't get jealous so I was jealous of her I was in fact jealous because when is it my turn? When is a billionaire gonna leave me their fortune? And when are their two batty grandsons gonna fall in love with me? Like I genuinely, I felt jealousy in that moment. Like I read that she was literally going from broke to having the paparazzi in the media following her everywhere, having a billion dollars on her credit card. And I was like, oh, oh, literally stopped reading the book. I have all three books on my shelves and I don't see myself picking it up anytime soon because jealousy is evil and I actually have it. My confession is that my freshman year of high school, I had a crush on a junior at my school. His name was Chris. It was so bad that I would follow him around my friend to figure out his schedule and I would always go the same routes as him. I found his Snapchat, his Instagram, and where he works and where he lived. I would go to his job when I figured out his work schedule and walk past him. One day I was at his job and I accidentally dropped my phone. He picked it up and said, you dropped your, wait, don't you go to my school? I said, I said, yeah, and we kept talking. I purposely dropped my bracelet when I left, praying that he would see it. The next day he came up to me and gave me the bracelet and we talked some more. He asked for my number and I gave it to him. We've now been dating for three years, but he doesn't know about what I went through to get him. Girl! 
like wait am i wicked for thinking like like she was a woman with a plan and she executed it perfectly like like i see no wrong you know like you stalked you may have stalked him that may be an actual uh criminal offense but it, hey it worked out in the end like she got the man she locked him down and this is going to be a funny story to tell your kids down the line if he doesn't leave you when you confess that you did all that. me personally i'd be a little bit like hey like hey, he's the, like maybe maybe i'm the problem because i just feel like if someone told me they were so infatuated with me they saw where i worked and then followed me saying that out loud is a little bit freaky no but you know what you 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 got this girl this sounds so cliche but i swear it happened my current boyfriend and me have been in the same class since we were 10 i'm 17 right now and the reason we started dating was because my friends and i were playing truth or dare and my dare was to tell him i liked him i didn't know if i did at the time and he was like are you pranking me and i felt so bad i was like yeah and he was like do you like me though and i and I do, I told him, I don't know. And he was like, I like you, so what do we do from here? <laughs> if a man looked me down the face and said, well, I like you, so what do we do from here? Girl, boy, what are we going to do? I got extremely flustered because how do you drop that in a conversation? No, right? Like, <laughs> And he was like, give me a month. And then during that month, he would walk me home and stuff, buy me snacks and study with- <laughs> This is a freaking funny, what the frick? What the frick? When is it my turn? I want this, I need this. I deserve this. I've been such a good girl my whole life. <sighs> Guys, jealousy is so bad and I literally just- Oh no, I'm actually so happy for you, but like- he would buy me snacks and study with me and at, th at the end of the month he asked me if I liked him and I said yeah because I was in deep and so he was like we both like each other but he didn't want us to date till we were both completely sure we wanted to date so we were exclusive at first but not dating for like three months and then he asked me to be his girlfriend <sighs> and we've been together for almost a year <sighs> guys I want someone to be like I like you what do we go from here and I'm just like ah I don't know. And then he's like, give me a month, baby girl. And then that whole month, I'm just sweeped off my feet from all his beautifully, like, gentleman -y actions. And then, and then we get married. Like, like, guys, like, am I wrong for wanting that? Like, the heart wants what it wants, and that's what my heart wants right now. I'm so happy for you. I don't know if this counts as a confession, but sometimes I low-key be getting parasocial with you. With me! Like, I'll be watching your videos cracking the flip up as if we know each other in real life. Or I'll see an edit or a bookstagram video that I know you'll get or find funny. And I literally have to will myself not to send it to you because you most probably won't see it. Sometimes, however, I'll simply just living my day-to-day -day life. And then I see something like a sticker of a Kimi ni Todoke character. And I immediately start saying, this is so Amina. Which makes all of my friends look at me funny because they don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Man, I wish you were real. <gasps> I wish I were real too. No, guys, that's actually really crazy. Like, I don't know. I feel like my social media presence doesn't really seem real to me. Like, it's just, like, it's just, I'm, I'm a very normal girl. Like, I just, I go to school and I just film it. And I come home. Like, I really don't do anything crazy. And so the fact that I have a, like, a following on social media and the fact that I actually exist to others is just very... Like, it's a very big disconnect in my brain. Like, sometimes when I get noticed, like, when I was in London, because a lot of my followers are from London, and I would get noticed, like, it genuinely didn't feel real. Like, I was just like, you you know me? Girl, who who is me? Who are you? Like, that's, I don't know, the fact that I just exist in other people's minds, and I probably will forever exist in people's minds. And I mean that in a way, not like in an egotistical, like, hey, I'm not, I'm not girl, I'm gonna exist forever. But in a way that's like, I remember when I was like eight years old and I would watch seven super girls. Yeah, I think about them occasionally. I'm like, oh, I wonder how those seven super girls are doing. You know what I mean? So like the fact that like probably 10 years down the line, if I'm not, when I'm not doing social media by then, like I'm gonna exist for other people. Like guys, like I exist in other people. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna go down a spiral with it. That's very, very sweet. And I feel very honored that you guys think of me like that. Like, <laughs> like we're all just girls together for real. <laughs> Basically, I have this really cool young uncle and I really liked him because he was cool and I never really interacted with him. So basically he didn't know I existed. So I followed him from my fake account, but then he texted me. Hi, no, hi. 
So I was like, let's reply to him. And we started talking and our conversation was mostly about studies, novels and all. And he seems like a very genuine person. But then he was getting serious about our friendship and asked me to call him or arrange a meetup. And I was too scared. So I posted a picture on my story deliberately with my father. And he saw that picture and ghosted me, LOL. Then after a week, I got his text saying that I'm his niece. And he got to know about it after seeing the picture with my father. And he told me not to tell this to anyone. And we were friends on Instagram and asked me not to text him again because I'm so young. What do I even say to that? I had an obsession with boyfriend ASMR, especially the Yandere ones. I blame my abandonment issues. I had? Girl, turn that to have. I know for a fact you go to sleep listening to Yagami Yato. <laughs> boyfriend audio. Baby, come back. <laughs> well, I almost vomited. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait. No way you willingly listen to that garbage. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart. Sometimes I imagine situations and I talk to myself out loud as if I am really in that situation and I just act like I am a character in the situation and then I answer to the character as myself, but in truth, I am the only person speaking. And you're so valid and you're so real for that. And guys, like you don't even want to hear the things I do. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I like have TikTok on my phone. You guys know how like you play audios and pretend you're in an edit. I do worse. Sometimes I play audios and like I pretend that like I'm like, like I'm fully like my phone is on my desk fully playing the audio and I like be back there like like acting out the trend with my imaginary friend with my imaginary man like like I, I will fully stand there like playing the audio like giggling pretending that he she it is like swatting me and I'm like ah! <laughs> lipsing with the audio like it's actually a problem one two sometimes like I just like I just pretend the most extreme situations happen to me and then I'm just like, what would I do in that situation? Like sometimes I, I, like, I'll be in my room and it'll be midnight and I'll be like, oh my gosh, okay, scenario, what if I was in school and someone ripped off my hijab? This is how I would act. Like cut scene and I'm literally like fully talking to myself. Like I'll like pretend I'm doing homework. Why would you do that? You freak, like I am fully like acting out these scenes. Like fully, like literally, like theater acting movie play. Someone get me in an A twenty four film ASAP. No Rocky. Like actually, I think this is like bordering some sort of illness. I remember when I was a kid, around eleven or ten, I was changing my little brother's diapers, and then when I went to put it in the bin, I saw something on the floor, and I thought it was chocolate. Mm. So I pick it up and I put it in my mouth. Long story short, it wasn't chocolate, girl. The way I would actually literally go to the kitchen, grab a knife and cut off my tongue. Thank you. I just want to know what possessed you in your mind to think that you are in the, the nursing room, the changing room, you see something brown on the floor and you're just like, ah, oh, yeah. Someone dropped a piece of chocolate in here that would conveniently be right next to the changing table where poop, so <laughs> what? Ugh. When I was 15, I had this huge crush on this guy in my class. I was too shy to talk to him, so I came up with a plan to get his attention. I found out his favorite band and decided to write him a secret love letter quoting lyrics from their songs. Ah, women when they're in love, so beautiful, so romantic, so mystical, so mysterious, so creative. Um, I slipped it into his locker, hoping he'd find it romantic. The next day, he showed the letter to our entire friend group, trying to figure out who sent it. I was so embarrassed that I pretended to be just as confused as everyone else. To make it worse, he joked about the letter for weeks, saying whoever wrote it must be a hopeless romantic. I never had the courage to tell him it was me. Girl! You missed out. If a man is sitting there weeks later thinking about that letter, he is in love. He was admiring it. He was, he was pondering. Men don't ponder. Name me a man you know that's ever pondered. I'll wait. He was pondering over you. Girl, you had him in the bag. I would have been like, hey, it's me. Hey. I would have just... <laughs> He brought up the letter. I literally would have just started singing the song. Like, and he would have just started singing it and be like, hey, like, surprise! 
junior year of high school, I developed a major crush on this guy who was a senior. I was borderline obsessed with him and my friends and I all had a thing for him. At our school, you could send Valentine hearts to people anonymously and the school would deliver them. If the person wasn't at school, they would hang the heart in the hallway. My friends and I thought it was a good idea to send our hallway crush a Valentine heart, but he wasn't at school, so it was hung in the hallway and he never took it. Embarrassing. But that didn't stop me. I would stalk his schedule on this app we had and would take the route just to see him. I'm pretty sure he knew because by the end of the school year, he looked back at me and my friends in the hallway. This made my delusions go crazy. So I requested to follow him on Instagram at the end of the school year because I never thought I would see him again. He never accepted the request. The next day was his last day of school where the seniors dressed up and did activities and other students could go watch. I thought it would be a good idea to go watch, but when he saw me, he told a group of girls from his class who were facing the other way, and they all turned around and looked at me with a weird look on their face. I've never been so embarrassed. I later discovered that he doesn't like black girls. Oh. Oh, so when I kill him and I murder him for him? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna stop saying these type of things. Like, it's, one, it's not even funny, and two, like, this is gonna be brought up in, like, an FBI case. Like, here's the- Whoa. Like, that was actually a horrible joke, but actually me when I punch him in the face for you? Stupid man, stupid, ugly, undeserving of your love, undeserving of your attention, loser, loser, scum, piece of gum on my foot that I would spit on. Hate him, hate him, don't even know him, hate him, hate him, and all the girls who turned around to look at you weirdly. You want, you want that man so bad and he don't even want you. I don't like those girls and I don't like him and I love you and you're a queen and if you sent me a Valentine heart, I would love you and I would cherish it and I would put it in my memory box that I've been collecting things with since I was in sixth grade and I appreciate you. He's a loser. Hate him. I loved biting my little sister's butt when she was a kid because I loved the diaper's texture. She still has scars on her butt till this day. <laughs> okay. So my thing is... If the diaper is on your little sister's butt, it's used. It is actually used. There is probably dookie and wookie all up in there. If you love the diaper texture, you couldn't just like literally take a, a diaper like from the package and, and just chew on that. Like, okay, little goat. Um, I just, I don't like, whoa. Why do you just, okay. Um, let's actually backtrack real quick. Okay, Amina, this is like legit my deepest, darkest secret, but this might be on your YouTube, so here it goes. My stepmom and my dad got together a couple years ago, and I legit hate her. Like, the way I gag at the thought of her. Anyways, my dad had gotten me these really cute shoes for my birthday, and I was so happy. A couple weeks later, me and her got into this huge fight because she tried to take my credit card away because I forgot to do dishes. Keep in mind, I do dishes every other night, and the only reason I didn't do them is because I got back from a late practice. So a couple days later, I got back from school and found found out she let her dog into my room and her dog completely chewed up my new $200 shoes. Girl, the way... Let me stop myself. And the way I knew she did it too because there was smeared peanut butter on them. Safe to say I was pissed. I told her about what her dog did and she replied, maybe that's karma for being a bad stepdaughter. We went back and forth screaming at each other and I wanted revenge for my shoes. I came home early from school and left the back door and gate open and her dog ran away. That is actually literally exactly what I was gonna, I, I was gonna be like the way I'd open the door and let the dog run away. <laughs> wait but like the dog didn't do anything like the dog has an evil owner like we shouldn't take our anger out on the poor animal that can't even communicate with us like wait i take it back wait bring the dog back how about you let her out of the house actually like when she got back home she broke down in tears and called the cops for her dog and everything to be honest i didn't even feel bad her dog bit everyone and wasn't house trained it's been a couple months since then and she still doesn't know as me um i this sounds like a cinderella look at the positives okay this sounds like a cinderella situation it sounds like you have an evil stepmother but you're literally cinderella and you are going to le live and be princess one day you know um but like i do feel bad for that dog like that dog was in a house with food and warmth and now it's in the streets in the cold and it like actually didn't deserve that because it didn't know it was your shoes it was the evil stepmother you know what i think you should do if the dog was a house trained while she was asleep i would just smear peanut butter all over her face and let the dog rip my mouth wait i'm supposed to be kind i am kind i am lovely i am nice whoa oh, oh my gosh wait like i'm scared of myself like that was an evil thought whoa i think i have a little crush on you emphasis on little but it's impossible because i probably live halfway across the world from you would you like to get to know each other only for marriage of course my dark secret would be that i liked only one girl whom i never confessed to or asked out from nursery grade till grade nine and i rejected anyone else that approached me all those years looking back i really shouldn't have but i guess it was way of god protecting me 
I was shy in school, now I'm not. From LGL slash RR. Um, so basically what you told me is you're in love with me, but actually you're not in love with me because you've been in love with a girl since till grade nine and you regret turning her down. So actually you are a girl. <laughs> Whoa, I was going to say a bad word. You are fake. You're actually the love of my life would never love anyone prior to me. The love of my life would love only me. Like you would, you wouldn't. Why do you know what a woman is? Why do you know what another girl is? Why, why, like, like. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Like, how could you confess to me and be like, hey, oh, by the way, like, I want to get to know you. But actually, like, confession, I actually liked this other girl for nine years of my life. I liked her for nine years of my, actually more than nine years. Nurse your grade till ninth grade? That's insane. Yo, I liked her nine years of my life. But like, hey, like, we can work things out. You're actually, e L-G-L-R-R, -R, you're actually evil. You're actually evil. And, but like, if you've got a billion dollars, like, maybe I would get, <laughs> maybe I would want to get to know you. Like, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, that was enough for the confessions. Um, this was a lot of questionable crushes and a lot of questionable stories and a lot of questionable tasks. And I just think that <sighs> I'm glad that I could be a safe space for you to vent in. But <sighs> I think some of us should book therapists because... Well, <laughs> whatever. Huh?